I've mentioned earlier that Maven has a modular architecture and it's comprised of a lot of plugins. Uh, Eclipse is an ID that uh, was very widely used and even that has a modular architecture. There are a lot of plugins inside Eclipse. And it just so happens that Maven has an Eclipse plugin and Eclipse has a Maven plugin. We'll have a look at both of them in this tutorial. But it does make sense because uh, even though you use Maven and the command line for having a project structure using art types and things like that, you won't actually be doing any coding in the command line or using text editors. You would normally use an IDE for that. And once you're inside an IDE, you might have to run Maven commands. So you need, uh, you need a good integration between Maven and your IDE and uh, you know thanks to these plugins Maven and Eclipse work very well together and uh, we'll have a look at how we can use these plugins. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the Eclipse plugin for Maven. So if I have a Maven you know um, pom.xml here and I have the source directory here now say I want to open this inside uh, Eclipse I can use the Eclipse plugin in order to generate an Eclipse project out of a pom.xml. So what I need to do is I need to call the MVN Eclipse colon Eclipse. Now note that I'm not entering the details about the Eclipse plugin in the pom.xml. You don't have to mention all the plugins that you use in the build phase inside your uh, pom.xml. Maven automatically connects to the repository and checks what plugin it is. The, the first part of the command, you know, gives information about what the plugin is. So it's gonna have a look at the repository and identify what the Eclipse plugin is. And uh, you would enter some configuration values in the pom.xml about the plugin. And that's the only reason why you would, you know, modify the pom.xml. Uh, if you have, uh, if you are happy with the defaults, there's no reason to add the plugin details in your pom.xml. So I'm, I'm okay with the defaults here. I just want Eclipse plugin to create an Eclipse project so that I can open up the source code inside Eclipse. So I press enter. So again, Maven is going to look at the repository and download the plugins and the components required for uh, running this command. Okay, so it's finished the download and uh, here you can see it's, there's an info message which says wrote the Eclipse project for my web app at this location, which is the web and my web app. So this is the location where the Eclipse project has been created. And uh, since the files are hidden by default, if I do a show hidden files, I can see the dot class path and the dot project that has information to Eclipse about how to open this project in the workspace. So now what I'll do is I'll open Eclipse and uh, I will open this project location inside of Eclipse. So I don't have to do imports and things like that now. So what I do is inside Eclipse, I just open the project as if it were a project that was created in Eclipse itself. Okay, so I'll say file, import, and uh, Let's say existing projects. I don't have to do any configuration. It's already an existing project. So I will choose the root directory. Which is my web app. So I say, okay. Now it detects that there is this my web app project. So when I say finish, it's going to open this up. All the configurations are in place. No matter what all configurations you have in your pom.xml, all those will get imported. In some cases, you might see an error here. Um, here you see a red exclamation point and uh, there will be errors. And it says uh, unbound class path variable m2 underscore repo. So what's happening is the, the jars that this project is referring to, since it's coming from the Maven repository, Eclipse does not know what the Maven repository is. Now, let me just right click properties. So here you go, the uh, the libraries is from m2 underscore repo. m2 underscore repo is a variable which needs to be substituted with the actual value of the repository. Now the repository is, most of the times it's in the home folder uh, with the underscore, I'm sorry, it's dot m2. Yeah, here it is, uh, dot m2 
repository. So this is the this is the directory location which the m2 underscore repo variable should point to. So what I'll do is here I'll add a variable and uh, let's say configure variables create a new one m2 underscore repo and this will be slash home dot m2 and repository okay I can also choose the folder here and I can uh, configure the same thing here but uh, yeah here you go I'll just press ok so it's the same thing now I'll say ok I'm done now it says the class path variables have been changed do you want to do a full build yes say ok and ok again now it's going to do a full build and that error is going to go away of course this is a code related error but uh, the variable error that was there is no longer showing up and uh, since we have given the location of the repository it knows where to pull up these jars and it's referenced those jars accordingly okay so now we have imported the project inside eclipse but now the problem is if i have to run any maven commands i would still have to go to the command line uh, there's no way i can run it inside eclipse so here what we'll do is we will install a maven plugin for eclipse so this plugin which is called as the m2 eclipse plugin will help us run maven commands inside eclipse itself and uh, you know once you have the plugin inside eclipse if eclipse is your main development environment you won't you won't ever want to go and run commands in the command line everything can be accomplished in the gui and it makes life a lot easier so we'll we'll install the m2 eclipse plugin now so what we do is in eclipse menu the help menu you go and uh, there's this menu I entry here called install new software just click on that and here what we need to do is we need to enter the site where the m2 eclipse plugin is available now if I just look at what all are available I'll say all available sites and uh, m2 eclipse uh, sites are also available here so I'll just say search everything and I select all available sites everything comes up and I can search here I will search for Maven so there are a few uh, plugins which have the word Maven in it this is what I'm looking at the Maven integration for Eclipse so I'll just choose this one there are a few extras and uh, a few other plugins we're not going to worry about that for now I'll just use this main plugin I'll say next it's going to gather all the dependencies and it will install okay so this is the only plugin that's required I press next again and uh, it's gonna you know uh, there's a license terms and uh, if you agree click on I accept and press finish now it's gonna download and install the Eclipse plugin and after the installation um, it's gonna prompt for a restart it's uh, better to restart Eclipse is going to restart and the M2 Eclipse plugin will start working now when Eclipse loads up uh, after installation I see this overview screen where there's a new entry uh, which talks about the Maven integration for Eclipse you can probably read through some of the stuff here uh, but I'll go to the workbench now the few of the benefits of having this M2 Eclipse plugin is that uh, first of all you can run Maven commands from the Eclipse IDE. So if you go to the pom.xml, you right click, you have this entry uh, for Maven, mm -hmm. and uh, you see this add dependency, add plugin, new Maven module. So all these Maven uh, commands can be run over here. And then when you go to the run as menu, so here you see you have a few entries for Maven. You have a Maven build. Maven clean, Maven install, Maven package. So all these correspond to the MVN commands that we would run in the command, you know, in the command line. So a Maven build would be a build command, a Maven clean would be MVN clean, the Maven install, Maven package all corresponds to MVN install, MVN package commands. So this is something you can use to directly uh, run the maven commands uh, another benefit is uh, you can search for uh, dependencies you can search for artifacts right from 
the Maven, I mean, right from the Eclipse IDE. And uh, this is something that we're going to look at in the next tutorial.